SMS includes an interface for the Steady State Spectral Wave, or ST-Wave, model. ST-Wave is a finite difference model based on the wave action balance equation. For this example, we will load in an SMS project file that contains a scatter set with elevation data and currents from an AdCirc simulation for the Shinnecock Inlet in New York. Since SD-Wave is a finite difference model, we will create a Cartesian grid using tools in the map module. First, we'll change the coverage type to ST-Wave. Next, we'll create a 2D grid frame around the inlet to define the grid bounds using the Create 2D Grid Frame tool. We will now adjust the grid frame parameters to tell SMS how to create the grid. This includes information about the origin, angle of rotation, cell sizes, and grid side lengths. The grid parameters we defined in the grid frame are automatically entered in the Map to 2D Grid dialog. We also need to specify the source for the elevations that SMS will assign to the grid. We will tell SMS to use the scatter set with elevation data to assign elevations to the grid cells. We'll also transfer the velocity data from the scatter set to the grid as well. The grid is now ready to be created. SMS will create the grid once we click the OK button in the Map to 2D Grid window. To better visualize the resulting grid, we will turn off the scatter set, frame the display, and turn on color-filled contours in the display options. With the grid created, we can now generate the spectral energy distribution. First, we'll create a spectral energy grid. Spectra can now be created by specifying parameters in the Generate Spectra window. The inputs are now specified and the spectrum can now be generated by selecting the Generate button. You can also visualize the spectral energy in the Spectral Energy window. We will now specify global parameters for the ST-Wave simulation. We will use the half-plane mode and will use wave propagation, but not wind. Next, we need to add the spectrum to the simulation in the ST-Wave Boundary Conditions window. We will assign three cells to be monitoring stations, one in the bay, another in the inlet, and one in the ocean. We are now ready to save and run the model. To do so, we will right-click on the Cartesian grid and select Save Project, Export, and Launch ST-Wave. Once the simulation is complete, we will exit the ST-Wave model wrapper and SMS will automatically load the solution. The color-filled contours that were turned on previously can help visualize the ST-Wave results in SMS.